Let's go down to the orb hole. Down to the orb hole we go. <laughs> okay, so what does her silhouette look like? <laughs> How similar is it to Sita's? Because that might be a problem. Oh yeah, so I'm only going to pull red. I kind of want Fjorm for her staff, but I'm not going to go out of my way to pull gray for it. I'll take Fury 3 fodder though. Said I'd switch it soon. No three stars yet. That's good at least. There he is. There's a launch Marth. Lunch Marth himself. Him and Corn are two units I could probably afford to invest in. Just because they're good support units. Kinda timeless in that way. I guess I could pull blue or green for the merges, but I may as well just go gray for Fjorm. And also Sothis. Sothis isn't really a priority either because um, I don't know who I would give times pulls to. And also um, my dark defense doesn't really need Sothis on it. In fact, if I pulled Sothis, I don't even know if I would use her for that. Getting lots of fury fodder, which I'm down with. It's also four star fury fodder, which is good because that saves me 2,000 feathers. I have enough feathers to plus 10 someone, I just don't know who to do. We could do Ares, actually. I have DC fodder. Alright, we're already at 8.5. Like I said, we're going down the orb hole. This isn't going to be one of those streams where we get her right off the bat. I don't have a limit on how much I'm willing to spend. Okay, well we got Sophus. Farewell, orbs. <laughs> down the hole you go. Goodbye. Is this a minus attack Sothis? No, it's neutral, wow. Because all my plus 10 projects are 5 stars. Is this a Linus theme? It is. Sorry for the slight spoiler. I wish I had feathers. To be fair, you can grind them. I used to do that a lot, I just haven't felt like it recently. I still kind of wish Fey IVs were like Pokemon IVs, where there were, who were more likely to get a neutral nature than anything else. Well, that's pretty cool. I'll take the Sothis, I guess. The reason I, the reason I, I didn't put Marth on there is just because like I legitimately don't know what I'll do with him. I already have one, and he's minus attack, so like, I guess I could. I guess I could just replace my current Marth with a better IV. Or merge him. That's probably what I would do. I would just merge him. Hey, here we go. Who's on green? On green we have... Levitane, who's pretty good. We got Yarn, who's, who's bleh. <laughs> and Lin. I'm kinda sad, I'm kinda sad I never pulled Lin. It is boring. That's why you, like, do something else while you're doing it. Back in February, I saw we had a stream where, like, we played. We were doing HM farming while doing something else. I forget what it was. I was looking through the archives. Yeah, it's kind of harder to do curses on us. Since we're only pulling one color, and there are only three five stars we could get. 
No, don't curse me with Marth. That, that's just me. Come on. <laughs> At least curse me with Sothis. She's like marginally more useful. Hello, I'm Ian. I got three focus units in this banner. Nice, they're all three. Nice. All three on red, you mean? In green, okay. Levitain, Yarn, and Lin. Pretty cool. Pulling for a specific legendary or mythic is pretty brutal as far as odds go. You figure it's rough, roughly 8% divided by 3. So it's actually less common than even like a normal focus unit. It's just. I mean, depending on who you ask, it's better because you're getting better pity breakers, but. I don't know. I kind of don't want to ever plus 10 a legendary mythic because it's just too brutal as far as orb expenditure. Minus attack. Oh my summer Labatine is plus speed. That's not ideal. <laughs> I know summer Labatine has like 20 speed or something. <laughs> Yarn is at least pretty good fodder. He's got attack speed solo. Which used to be like the definitive offensive A skill, but now we have a bunch of other stuff. second speed solo. That's smart. It's a pretty good use for him. <laughs> I, still have, I still haven't found a use for the yarn that we pulled back in the Makaya stream. 1600 orbs or so. That's pretty good. That's actually really good. When I kept going for leaf, I got two more alms and about 100 orbs. Um, I will not spend the three orbs on gray. Gotta stick to my guns. Oh, hey. <laughs> I like Linden's theme, too. It is kind of a bummer, because like I said, there aren't any units in the 3-4 star pool that I'm wanting to plus 10 merge. If we get, like, pretty unlucky pulling, then uh, I might just go for one Altina. You should do Ray. Um, counterpoint, I should not do Ray. I'm sure his personal tome is great and all, but I'm not. I'm not about that Ray life. Yeah, it was actually a really good merch project. He gets access to um, Blazing Durandal, right? No one is about the Ray life. See, that's how it should be, I think. Someone pointed out to me, it was in a video, how like Ray's hand, how it's like in the foreground of his art, it just looks so ugly. Thank you for the 11 viewers. I actually can't see my viewer account right now, so I appreciate it. Man, we got three Fury Fodders before we got a single Altina. 
We're roughly 120 orbs in. I was thinking of doing a plus 10 Paula, but like, her fodder is just too good. I'll never be able to plus 10 her because I'll keep foddering her for, uh... What is it? Goat Flyers. Okay, here we go. And... Roy. Ten percent pity. How high can we go? So about Altina, right? That's not Altina, that's Roy. Before now, I would have thought that Altina wasn't, like, important enough, or, like, canonically strong enough to be a mythic, but that was so fast. I thought they were reserving the mythic heroes for, like, the god characters, basically. Yeah. So, like, before I would have said that Degenzia wasn't, like, strong enough canonically to be a mythic, but now he is, because obviously, if Altina can be him, then so can Degensia. I thought for sure that the next, like, non-OC mythic would have been Ashera. And now I'm scared, because, like, what if the next light mythic is Ashera? <laughs> Another Sothis, okay, this is how it's gonna be. <laughs> Plus 10 Sothis, here I come. At least I'm getting more, more Dark Blessings, right? That's the real silver lining. Plus HP, minus attack. So that's a, either gonna get merged or foddered for times pulse. Times Pulse, uh, only for infantry. She has Wrath, too, which I forgot about. And an attack speed solo. Into the armory and have her. Yeah! So, no matter what weapon you give her, she dual wields. It's so cool. <laughs> This is the last one before our pity breaker, or before our pity rate goes away. Who's on blue? Let's see. On blue we have Fjorm, and Julia, and Tiki. Bleh. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's funny too, because we're actually getting quite a few red orbs on our summoning circles, so I can't really blame that. It's just red being red. I could do a plus 10 Soleil. I need more Soleil merges for that. You know what though, I would take two Sothuses over two Marths. So I guess I can be thankful for that. Also, Altina isn't coming back until March. That's... Four months, right? Yeah, four months. That's brutal. Sounds like RD. Yep, it's Ascent. This is the song that played in her reveal trailer. Altina's, that is. 
We're getting a lot of Bantus, which, like... <laughs> I think that's my fifth Bantu in total, and that's our third one today. Plus ten Bantu, Pog. Here comes plus ten Bantu. There we go, okay. Could have been... <laughs> Could have been worse. Could have, could have been a lot worse. We at least got the one. Thank God. A radiant justice will again come to the world. Look at the way she holds the swords. My oh, that's actually really good. So yeah, I didn't get a chance to talk about AVs, but uh, plus attack would be ideal. But I mean, minus speed. Basically, minus speed. That's the best, like, negative nature you could get, so that's pretty dope. That's amazing. Does she have a super bane in speed? <laughs> Let's actually take a look. Uh, she does not. So my Altina, with her minus speed nature and her weapon equipped, she will have 12 speed. Right now she has zero speed. That's so funny. <laughs> You wouldn't expect her to be, like, a zero-speed type of character, you know what I mean? <laughs> Has good res in defense. Yeah, she's really min-maxed. It's kind of dumb how min-maxed she is. I thought for sure they would have given her more speed, but nope. She has, like, 36 res and 30 defense. So our Altina will have 39 base res. Is that right? Yep. It's because I played Ascent. That's the reason she showed up, I imagine. So, uh, I did say I wanted to... Also, I forgot to put her in the polls. Plus res. Minus speed. Perfect. Okay. I don't know when I'll stop. <laughs> Maybe if we spend, like, maybe, like, at the next Pity Breaker, if it takes us a while to get there, you know? I could, I could try stopping there. Assuming, of course, I don't get the second Altina. That should be more optimistic. But yeah, Altina's weird, because, like, she only shows up... Well, I mean, she never shows up in the story, but they only portray her once in the whole series. <laughs> She has that one still with her, Sohn, and uh, Degincia fighting just a bunch of random soldiers. Kind of surprising you did not get Legendary Marth. You're kind of right. And I'm glad for that. <laughs> Nothing against Marth, just I really have... Oh, there we go, perfect, alright. <laughs> We're all done. Well, I'll take that happily. Do, do we get the plus attack? We do not, but that's okay. Plus res is fine with me. Well, damn. I'll take that happily. And now we're full, right? Barracks are full. That's okay. Let's go. Now I get five star chat. No. <laughs> that's not allowed. Only I want to? Yeah. We got her, actually, we got our two copies pretty quick, so, I don't know, should we keep going? <laughs> Do we get greedy? We probably shouldn't. Recently, my rationale has been, okay, I should just save my orbs, because if they do, like, a modern banner, you know, like the ones where they've been doing six new characters with every banner, if they do one of those for Radiant Dawn, I'm gonna want excess orbs. You know what I mean? Well, that worked out pretty damn well, if I have to say so myself. I'm very satisfied. So I've had this theory for a while that uh, the director of this game just really likes sonic -y, And I have proof. Because there was an interview where he said... He, like, like, he was listing the couple of characters he really liked, and they were all from Tellius. He said Titania, Soren, and Sonicky were her favorites, or were his favorites. Which is interesting, because then, 
right? There's there's actually a lot of evidence now. <laughs> Sonaki was the first Tellius unit in the game. Then she was, she wasn't the first first Tellius unit to get a seasonal, but she was like one like one of the first. Then her retainers got got freaking seasonal alts. And then her retainer got like her original form in the game. And now we have Altina, who's like an ancestor of her. So my theory is that he's just obsessed with Sonaki and like every character remotely related to her. She was also the first one to get her refined. Like she was in that first wave of refines with uh with George and Felicia and Hanoka. <laughs> yeah, Sonic getting in before Ike is nonsense. I I kinda like that Sonic -y just for some dumb reason gets special treatment. <laughs> and I have actual Tanith, yeah that'd be cool. I would be super down for that. Actually, I don't know if I would be down for that, because I just spent 200 orbs. Wait until after Christmas. 